Bible Lessons. My name is Lexi. And my name is Mel. And we are so excited to continue our series, Into, Into the, the Wild. Wild. As you can see, the wild looks a little different today. Can you guys guess where today's animal lives? Well, this definitely doesn't look like the water park I go to. Yep, it is not the water park, it's the ocean! I love the ocean! And I can't wait any longer to tell you guys the creature we get to talk about today. It's one of the largest animals to ever live on Earth. We're talking about the whale! Let's hear today's fun facts. There are two types of whales on the planet. One type of whale that has teeth, and another whale called the baleen whale. They don't have teeth at all. Their mouths are fringed with curtain-like plates. Blue whales are the largest animals to have ever lived. Whales love to sing. Their songs can last for 30 minutes. A bowhead whale can live for up to 200 years. A gray whale's lifetime migration is equivalent to a round trip to the moon. Whale tails are like fingerprints. No tail is alike. Some whales like to nap while floating up and down. The whale is a mammal. Whales breathe air just like us. Whales breathe through blowholes on top of their heads. Whales are so cool. I cannot believe how ginormous they are. Could you imagine swimming next to something bigger than a school bus? Good thing we don't have to live in the ocean. What sticks out to me when we talk about the whale is their beautiful songs. Many people think that birds are the best singers of the animal kingdom, but they are wrong. Whales sing the longest and even most complicated songs. When whales sing, they can be heard for 20 miles. Now that is a powerful voice. A whale song contains clicks, chirps, creaks and groans. Sometimes the songs last for 10 to 15 minutes. Nobody knows exactly why the whales sing. They could be happy, upset, or even in love. And just like the humpback whales, people like to sing too. The Bible tells us that God loves to hear his children sing and make music. Let's listen to this Bible story to hear about a time one of God's children used their voice to declare God's goodness. In the Old Testament, the Ark of the Lord was the presence of God. It was hard to keep around and take good care of. There was a man named King David. King David loved the presence of God and did his best to always take care of it. He decided to move the Ark to Jerusalem so that he could keep it safe. He gathered some men together to help him do the job well. As the men traveled with the Ark, they worshiped God and celebrated at his presence with them. They made it all the way to Jerusalem. As they brought the ark into the city, the people shouted with joy and played their trumpets. The people were so happy that the ark of the Lord was with them. When David was able to take it into his city, he couldn't stop himself from shouting with joy, playing instruments and dancing. People thought that he was a little crazy for doing this. But David loved the presence of God and wasn't afraid of who saw him. He was just so happy that the presence of God was with him. Even David's wife was angry when she saw that he was acting like this. She told him the king should not be dancing like crazy in the streets. And David heard her, but he was not embarrassed. He knew that he was dancing for the Lord. He didn't care about what other people said or thought about him. He was so happy about what God had done for him and his people. I just love how David didn't care who was looking or listening. He wanted to celebrate the Lord and he did. 
He lifted his voice and he busted out his best dance moves. Do you do those things whenever you're happy or excited? Well, God loves for us to celebrate his goodness. He has given us a good, good life and it's our privilege to live it. So let's celebrate what God has given. Whether our songs are happy or sad, we can enjoy singing them. Making up songs is a great way to share our feelings and even tell God how much we love Him. Psalm 13, 6 says, I will sing to the Lord because He has been so, so good to me. Let's try using our voice right now by practicing our memory verse. Are you guys ready? Let's memorize with Mel. Hey guys, welcome back to Memorizing with Mel. Who's having fun learning about whales and how they sing? <laughs> Me too. I'm not as good as singing yet, but we'll get there one day. Now who remembers this series memory verse? That's right, it's Psalm 156, which is, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Now, do you think you guys can stand up and do it with me? Let's, on a count of three, everybody stand up and say, I'm amazing! Ready? One, two, three. Stand up and say, I'm amazing! Wow, you guys are really good at singing that word. Well, let's do our memory verse. Here we go. Let everything that has breath Praise the Lord. Good job. Do you think we can do it one more time? Here we go. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. You guys are doing so good for this series. Can't wait to see you next week. <laughs> 